Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe for all of your manifestation needs as well as some personals. Head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. If I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and ground for the collective dollar. Y'all ignore these raggedy nails. I needed a new set, so just ignore them. Let's see what we have. We have a whole bunch. First thing out is the four of wands with the four of swords. Then we have the ten of swords, the fool, the chariot, and then the devil. So with the four of wands, it's like feeling the feeling of celebration, right? The feeling of something very successful. Um, but when, with this feeling of something very successful came something that stabbed you in the back. It's like, okay, I feel like I'm moving forward. I feel like this could be successful. But at the same rate, it came some type of backstabbing defeat type of energy. But now after this, um, you know, feeling defeated, um, there's new new beginnings on the horizon. We have the full energy, the new beginnings, the understanding to take, a, take the leaps of faith, even if it does not make sense. And then we have the chariot with the devil. So um, first with the chariot, there's some type of trouble. There's some type of conflict. There's some type of decision to make, right? And um, with that, the, with that, it could have definitely been, I'm going to put it right here beside it. With that, there was some stagnation. And with the stagnation left, left I can't even get it out. With the stagnation, it, it left some type of bondage, right? And now it's like you or this person is traveling towards success. They're tired of being in bondage. They're tired of being stuck. And then what, what did I cut the deck on? The Six of Swords. They're tired of um, being stuck and stagnant. They're tired of being in the same place and never or not really growing. So now we have moving away from turbulence with the Six of Swords. Moving away from turbulence. And, you know, tired of being in that, in that, always in that war. Tired of being always, like, in that battle. Moving away from something that's more lighthearted. Moving away from something that's more, I don't know why I got copacetic. Something that's just more aligned. So I do see like there's somebody that had a lot of stagnation. There's somebody that saw, always saw like it would be a celebration with you, but there's some type of karmic um, that was in their atmosphere. There's some type of karmic lesson that they may have need to learn or something within themselves that they had to do introspection on. And now they're, they're ready to go ahead and move away and do exactly what they're led to do, right? We have the two of swords, the page of cups. Somebody has been learning something. They've been learning something. We have the king of pentacles in reverse. All of these are in reverse. So um, with them learning something, I feel like this person was very controlling. Um, they were inarticulate. They went, didn't know how to go ahead and express their feelings. And they also, high priestess in reverse, they weren't listening to the intuition. They weren't following their inner voice. They were very superficial. They were very money-minded. Um... They are very much so like misguided. And then we have imbalance. And some they may have had some type of abandonment issues. Like we have communication issue problems here um, twice. So this person that knows that they were in the stagnant energy knows that they had some type of communication problems where they couldn't effectively communicate. And you know, what do I have here? The Empress. So they know who the fuck you are. They know you're exactly the Empress. They had to do some introspection. This person has been having a lot of suffering, worrying, anxiety over you. Five of Cups as well, because they see that you are the star. Five of Cups, they've been regretting. They've been very much so in despair of how they did, right? Of how they've done, of how they, you know, like you got handed this gift and it's like, I'm getting make it last forever. Make it last forever. So it's like so something that somebody got a gifted to them that they have always wanted somebody genuine, somebody that's going to be there for them, but they didn't make it like last forever. They didn't put in that effort. They didn't put in that work to go ahead and make it last forever when they should have. Three of Wands. So now they're looking for assistance. Now they're planning. Now they're trying to get their confidence up to go ahead and come towards you. They know that they bro broke your heart in some type of way, shape, or form, and they definitely juggled you. They definitely juggled you. They definitely, you know, did not prioritize their time correctly. And they were having fun with a lot of people, but not the right people. Because the people that they were having fun with is not going to reciprocate whenever it's time for, like, whenever something goes wrong. They ain't going to be able to call on these people to actually help. Like, a lot of times people, 
put energy into people that's not going to help them if they needed the help. But then the people that are helping, um, that show them the unconditional love get treated the worst. And I feel like that type of energy. It's like the people that are, this person, you show this person unconditional love and it's like you, they treated you the worst. And that's definitely because they were in some type of lack mentality. Let me go ahead and shuffle again. Being fake. They had a false mask on. There was some shit that they needed to let go of. And they know that the only way that they can get to you, the treasure island, and manifest you successfully is by putting some respect on your name, by exchanging these gifts, gifting you, and putting, you know, that respect, reciprocating, um, and having that, you know, wherewithal to be able to effectively communicate. And if they don't know, like, what the fuck to say, write that shit out. Do it, like, write it out. Say it to your phone. Well, you gotta write shit out these days. Talk to your phone and like whenever you're in front of that person, just be able to get that. Like, don't be too shame. Shit, if this is a person that you know that you know that you know that it's a magnetic connection, then there ain't no shame in your game, period. Soulmates. And this person knows that you are their counterpart. They know that you are their soulmate. So they know that there ain't no shame in their game and they're gonna go ahead and get it together to have this celebration because they're tired of being stuck and stagnant. And they know one thing. Like, they just got hit in the face with that shit. Whenever I shuffled um, and tried to take this, like, this car flipped over, it was like I damn near hit myself in the face. It's like they got smacked in the face with you being a loyal person, with you being a person that's always honest, that's always truthful, that's always genuine, and that, you know, just wants to, just wants to have your peace. And you are definitely a person that has been getting messages from the most high with that bird right there. And then we have message in a bottle. So this person is definitely going to, they've been thinking about, you know, see that phone on timey. Could be some type of phone call that they want to make. Um, and, you know, just express some things. Observer. So they've definitely been watching you. They they know that they have to release this chaos and conflict to get this leg up. To get this leg up. Because they're tired of being in this clouded judgment in between worlds. They need to go ahead and go to the light. And they've, they've understood after they've thought about this for a very, 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 very long time. Okay? Because they have a never-ending story. And they know that they want to have some type of completion to this unfinished symphony because they know that they know that they know that a lot of things that they were putting before you are not prioritizing your time properly was not for them. Not something that's going to reciprocate back to them when they really need it. So it's time for them to go ahead and fix this shit. It's time to, for them to fix exactly what they need to do. Do some mending. Do some hard work to go ahead and fix some shit. Take some action to get to your happiness. Because at the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, any damn time of the day, they're tired of the round and around. They're tired of the constant thoughts. They're tired of the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, what they could have done to go ahead and come forth correct to make this shit work. And then now they want to go the distance because like I was saying before, the unfinished symphony, it ain't no game, right? It's, it's not a game. Hearing these, having these constant signs and synchronicities, hearing this music that reminds you of this person, like vice versa, having all these constant thoughts, it, it's just like, Almost to the point of insanity because they know that it's some karma type shit for not getting right when they could have got right. But it's, it's not too late, right? It's not too late. They want to go ahead and shed some old skin and make way for new. They want to go ahead and do what's right. They want to go ahead and express themselves. And they want to go ahead and be with somebody that's genuine because you're not going to find a genuine person every damn day, every damn century. Every, like It's hard to come by, period. All right, all right, all right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe for all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals. Head on over to your my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.